moving your plate so far. <laughs> you and these tomatoes. I don't like them. After all these years, you still don't like tomatoes? No, they're gross. Oh, boy. Anyway. You know, I really missed you. Why aren't you here to stay? Oh, I know. But finding a place in New York City is not easy. Okay, but you know what? Frank and I, we know of some great realtors mm -hmm. who can get you a condo in prime locations like Midtown and the Upper East Side. Next to us. Okay, sure. Pass me their <laughs> info. <laughs> you know what? Frank knows them. Where is he anyway? Mm. He's not picking up. Let me call his office. I swear, his secretary, Christina, sometimes she knows more about him than I do. Hey, Christina, is Franklin there? Hmm. Oh, okay. All right, well, thanks, Christina. Okay, bye. He had a last minute meeting come up. Mel, you know that's not healthy for your marriage. What? Franklin's secretary knows more about him than you do? I mean, he is CEO of his firm and he can't make time for a lunch date with his wife? B. What? And not to mention, you wouldn't have remembered if I didn't call you. B, you. please don't do this. Okay. But I know that this is just a setup for a disaster. I can see it now if you don't nip it in the bud. I'm just telling you because I'm your friend. Just stop. Cut it out. Okay. Eat. I'll drop it. For now. So what's she like? Who? Christina. Christina's his secretary. Yeah. Why? Cause she's the one spending all this time with your man. This is not up for discussion. All right. So, is she a white girl? <laughs> <laughs> no, but baby, for real. So, what did you feel about the last apartment? I don't know, Jeff. I like them, but I don't know. Well, what? Ange, don't do this to me now. Wait. You're not having second thoughts? No, I'm not having second thoughts. It's just, I feel like it's too much for you. You know, the bills and all. Yeah, but babe, if I go to the boat broker, she could get, you know, everything no. with the utilities at no. a price I could afford. And then you gotta pay a broker fee. Yeah, but in the long run, it's okay. Babe, trust me. I got this. Shut all right? <laughs> I got it, You know, it, I did like the last one she showed. Yo, baby, the last mm -hmm, apartment, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, it was Perfect. mad dope. Did you see the living Perfect. room? Perfect. Oh, baby, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, honey. Hey, Ma. Well, is this the infamous Angela? <laughs> Very funny. Ma, this is Angela Hi. Maria. Nice, nice to meet you, you Angela. I've heard so much about you. I've heard a lot but, about you, too. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you really existed. Because all you two do is talk on the phone. <laughs> You're in the jokes, Ma. <laughs> Are you coming up to meet my husband? I would love to. Ma, Ma, we're thinking of just staying down here real quick. Oh. Okay, well then, um, I hope you'll come to dinner soon. Yeah, I'd love to, definitely. It was nice meeting you, you again. You too. She seems really nice. Yeah, but she's crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark? Mark, what are you doing here? You know it's bad luck. I've never loved a woman the way I love you. And it is truly a blessing from God to be allowed to make you Mrs. Valerie Pinkett. Are you getting emotional on me? Okay. <laughs> okay, go. We need to save some for later. <laughs> you know I got a whole lot for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, you're so stupid. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Jeez, you don't have to sound so depressed. 
Wait. Come on, relax. Why are you so uptight? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody missed me today. Oh, yes, I did. But you trying to start something up? That's just the text. Who's Jamie? Hmm? Oh, Jamie. 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 Oh, um, she's a friend of Tony's. We met at a party. Cool. She's cool. Baby, 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 yo, we got the apartment, all right? We got the apartment. Jeff, slow down and stop screaming. I can hardly understand what you're saying. Baby, baby, we got the apartment. The, 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 the broker said everything was approved. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Baby, I'm so excited. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, listen, I'm, I'm on my way to you. Listen, if you want, I'll talk to your dad. No, no, it's perfectly fine. I'll take care of it. All right, all right. Look, the broker said we can move in by the end of the month, so I could get my boys, we could, we could pack everything, I'll rent the truck. But today's the 20th. That gives us less than two weeks. Yeah, yeah but that's more than enough time to pack, baby. Okay, then I gotta take care of this now, then. Yo, baby, I love you, all right? And everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I know. Bye. Hey you guys, can we talk? Hey you guys, can we talk? Daddy, I really want to talk. Honey, Angie wants to talk. Hmm. Sorry, sweetie. What is it you kids say? My bad. <laughs> um, so you guys know I love you a lot and I'm appreciative of everything you've done for me, but I, f I am getting older and I feel the time has come for me to move out. What? Absolutely not. Daddy, I'm not a kid. I made up my mind. Angie, what about school? Mom, I'll still be in school. It's not gonna change. You know, you and Maribel come up with all these crazy ideas and don't even- Daddy, this is not with Maribel. Listen, how, 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 how will you afford to live? I'm moving out with Jeff. What? What? No. No, you will not. No daughter of mine is going to live unwed with some boy. It's just not going to happen. It's too late. We've already been approved for an apartment. I'm moving out by the end of the month. Angie, are you sure about this? Angela, why? I, Dad, why are you doing this? Dad, because it's time. I have to go. I'm too old to be living at home. Hey, you know what? Fine. Daddy. Fine. You want to go live with some kid? Fine. Go right ahead. But you know what? I'm not going to be here to see it. Oh, sit down. Don't worry about Dad. He's just extremely hurt and upset. He'll be okay. My question is, do you, is this, is this what you really want to do? Yes. You're right, you are an adult. And I apologize if we've been babying you and smothering no, you. No, it's not that. I, I, 
have to trust the fact that I raised you well. Hmm? And this is what you really want to do. Hey. Now we're here to support you. We're here to support you. Well, Val, we did it. Excuse me, but I would like to be referred to as Mrs. Pinkett. Mrs. Pinkett, huh? Yes. Hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Wait. What? Did you hold up your end of the bargain? What bargain? Mark, the deal we had. I was supposed to plan the wedding because you claimed that I'm too bougie. And you were supposed to take care of the wedding reception. Babe, where do you think we are right now? I mean, the wedding was a bit fancy and all, but what my baby wants, she gets. Aww. And I planned a very affordable and intimate reception. Affordable. And intimate. <laughs> Mark, what does that mean? Look, look. look. So, you like it? I love it. At first, I thought it would be a little off. Ghetto? Come on, you can say it. <laughs> no, no. My husband did a fabulous job. Glad my wife approves. <laughs> this is he put on black. <laughs> hey, hey, Brent. hi, Jamie. How I didn't up? know you lived in this area. Um, I, I don't. James does. Hi. Oh, um, by James, I mean my boyfriend. I didn't, but I, I do now. I, we live together now. Oh. Hi, how you doing? I'm James. Jamie. Jamie. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice so you must be the one occupying all my baby's time nowadays, huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let you two lovebirds go. I'm gonna head out. All right. All right. Hey, it's nice meeting you, Jamie. Bye. <laughs> this seems pretty cool. She invited to dinner. Baby, not tonight. Baby, not tonight. I'm tired and I'm drained. Okay, Mel. Frank? Yep. I'm sure you understand. Work has me exhausted. Oh, I understand. Is this because of the other night? Looks like you're going to have to schedule sex in too, huh?
Hey, Christina. <laughs> I know it's late. Did you happen to get the Clayton briefing out? <laughs> I want to take a look at that first thing in the morning. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I can hardly believe I'm doing this. All the years and memories in this room. I know it was bound to happen sooner or later, but it's just so hard to wrap my fingers around leaving a home I've known all my life. Actually, the only home I've known. And then there's my parents. I can't even begin to think about them. They've been here for me all my life, for anything and everything I've ever needed. The last thing I want to do is hurt them, especially daddy. Hey, Angie. Hey, Daddy. You okay? Yeah, Daddy, I'm okay. I just... I'm... Hey, listen. Sweetheart. You're my heart. You're my baby. My little girl. No matter how big you get, you're always going to be my little girl. When you first told your mom and I you, you were leaving, I was furious. My little girl leaving home is uh, was crazy. You know, but since then I've, I've had time to think it over and talk to your mom. But the truth is, uh, I'm still not completely in agreement with it. But, Daddy, I... Please, Angie, let me get this out. I always pictured you living here with us. You know, and then as a college graduate, you'd get married. And then you'd move out with your husband. Daddy, it's not like that anymore. Yes. I know. But what I'm trying to tell you is that that I've come to terms with your leaving. And again, I'm not happy. But I'm accepting. Because you are my world. As long as you have to take it slow. And know that you are your father's daughter. And that you'll make the right choices. I will miss seeing you every day. But you know if it doesn't work out, you can always... Daddy, why would you say that? Angie. I'm just saying that you always have a home here. You can always come back. Thank you. What you made me do. Sure, I replaced my birth control pills and now I can't find them. Granted, I've been so caught up at work that I missed the pill from the last prescription. Because he's on vacation, okay? And the doctor acting on his behalf is not even answering the phone. Hey, babe. Relax. Right? 
It's not the end of the world. You're cold. Besides, you need breakfast. Yes, it is, Mark. I have already told you I don't want any children. I mean, we've already gone over this. The colors of love Yellow, red, black, white String to reach the high tides Kiss of us and fight It's the colors of love 